And welcome to part two. I'm not sure where I left off on part one, but this is part two of an 18 by 24 inch canvas that I've created a land area and a foliage area for my trees. I have acetate tools. Part one should be right under the video. I'm going to try and add some branches. And I'm thinking about just using my squeeze bottles to do that as well as the trunk. I have a strong desire for a larger studio workspace right now. I want to put a moon behind this tree. And in order to do that, I have to choose whether it's going to be gold, which is Mayan gold, or the Tuscan sun. And I kind of feel like the Tuscan sun would be cool. And I'm also going to fill that in later. I've just decided I'm going to fill that in later. <laughs> so let's just Use the Royal Sapphire because that's what I've got. And it's good to use up what I've got. I'm going to use some of the Twilight Orchid. I turned my studio light out because I didn't I don't like the artificial light, but I'm hoping oh that is the water dragon that was plugged in my last in the first half. So let me see if I can do something about that right quick. Or not. Wow. Maybe not. Hopefully. Yep, I got it. So all these paints are mixed with Vivid poly, Polypore. Conveniently enough, once they're in bottles, they're pretty easy to use, except for the plugging, the plugging up factor. Whoa. And that, right there, which obviously means that it became unplugged rather rapidly. And also means I'm going to spread that out with my Princeton Artful Catalyst spatula. And because the canvas is dry in the background, I can pick some of it up. And I need to. Spread my colors out a little bit. I decided to put my hillside, put my uh, my ground level on a hill for interest, and see what happens with my changing the trajectory of my roots. Because I keep thinking about doing it and not doing it, and I like how it looks. So I definitely think that I would love to have that moon behind, but it's definitely not happening today. No matter how much I wish it would. To me, it does not matter what color my branches are. So long as they look cool together. And I am using my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula to just steal a little paint from here and there and spread the mixing colors. And that's pretty simple and kind of dramatic and I like it a lot. I would like to I suppose if I really, really was going to be fussy about it, I could put some black in there tomorrow. Although it seems a lot like I can shuffle paint. And I can also move my spatula up into my tree because of the cup mixing colors. This 
going over and over. They don't have to be deep. I'm quiet because I'm focused, but I'm enjoying the process too. Just branching right out. Loving all of that. So it's not my first painting of 2022, but it might be my first video meant for 2022. I guess we'll see. I want to make my base a little wider. I'm, my intention is to put some moonlight reflecting gold or silver or something off of my trees. And that is, as they say that, for the most part, I could probably do quite a bit more with some of these things, but I kind of appreciate the marks that are left behind from the unaltered paint. I know, as I say that, I'm changing them. But I definitely like the weird little highlights. Oh, no. <laughs> Got rid of that one. Well, that's a pretty simple tree. But what do I want? I want something else in there. I do. I definitely do. I want some bonfire in the tree. I hope that wasn't a mistake. going to be all right. And I should try and shimmer this at you. I wonder if I can. I should try. Let me go get my cell phone flashlight and see if we can do something about this. Once I unstick it. And I'll have to decide if I really want a moon also. I definitely want some stars. I hope you can see that. Gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer. Not even sure what you can see since I haven't climbed up on my ladder. I'm probably going to take a few fingerfuls of paint and go around. Let's go in. Right in there. Sparkle City. All right, I love you guys. I hope you give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate your comments. Keep my morale boosted. And um, your donations help keep me painting. And I really appreciate that. And when you make a donation, you are also included in the monthly drawing. I gotta zoom out. You know what? I should turn that your way. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? And considerate of me. Anyway, so I'm thinking there might be room for a couple, couple little spirals here and there because they're sort of there anyway. And I like them. And I didn't put any in yet. And I don't believe that they will hurt anything. And like I said, I will finish this by dabbing a finger into some of these puddles like this. And then just hitting the sides with a bunch of different colors. I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I will see you anon. 
I hope you decide to, oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. I hope you decide to check out some of my videos because I post seven days a week. And I'm not sure what time I'll be posting in 2022, but if you look for me, you'll find me. I post on my community board the night before most times, or very often, almost consistently, if anything is. Don't forget there's a 20% off promo code for color art products and prism pours, especially underneath the video. I'm liking this. I got some cleanup to do. I need to turn on a light. Tell you guys to check out the um, my YouTube channel banner for the PayPal icon. If you use it, you'll be sent an invitation to get in the monthly drawing, and you can see the prizes for the monthly drawing at the beginning of the exhibition video that should be included on the sunscreen of this video in the last 20 seconds. My Amazon link is a great place to shop. My two books are there, I think I might have said, because I can and Unlimited Possibilities are my first and my second 100, 100 videos. My email address is a great way to contact me. It's underneath the link tree where you can find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Le Galler's clothing made in Montreal, which is investment quality. Uh, also under the video, spring clothing. And if you can't find, if you like a pattern or a design and you can't find it on my spring clothing or my pixels.com or my Fine Art America or the gallerist, you can ask me to add it and I will do my best to try and do that whichever place you decide would you'd like to <laughs> find it on whatever, we'll see. You talk to me, we'll figure it out. My paint pouring recipe is below the video. Underneath show more, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. That helps my channel standing a little bit. I really appreciate your wonderful comments. Thank you for keeping my morale boosted. You, you help keep me here. You help keep me inspired and I love you endlessly for it. I have over 2,300 videos, probably over 2,400 videos by now, and they're organized by topic and genre. And if you need questions answered, you can ask me. And if you need a link to a playlist, if you've tried going to my channel and you've looked for playlists, all playlists and created playlists, and you can't find what you're looking for, just ask me because I have everything stashed so it's ready to share with you. I do give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and I love you guys dearly. I will see you and on. I will probably torch this once briefly to make sure that I don't have any bubbles, and then I will check for bubbles and pierce them with something sharp. All right, you guys, Happy New Year again. Bye for now. Priscilla out.